Hey, did you know that planting a guava tree right next to a citrus tree is actually good for the citrus tree? We're going to talk about that, so stay with us right here. All right, now just before we get started talking about this citrus tree and that guava behind me, I'm going to ask you guys a quick favor, okay? If you want updates on what's going on on this channel, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell so that you'll know when new videos are released. And if you give us a thumbs up, that's really appreciated. And also, you might want to share this video. But when you grow citrus, you've got a, a whole bunch of issues that, that most people have with most plants. You know, you have the leaf miners and you have to fertilize them and they need minerals and they need the proper pruning and all of that. But there's this one thing that can come around that really can, can kind of mess up your tree. And that's the Asian citrus psyllid. When a psyllid comes around and it begins to feed on your tree, what happens is that as it begins to, to suck out the sap from the leaves, it introduces, in many, many cases, the infected psyllid will introduce a disease, which is a bacterial disease called citrus greening. Now, if your tree catches the Asian citrus, uh, citrus greening disease, uh, it's going to have misshapen fruit, it's going to have fruit that doesn't ripen, it's going to have fruit that just tastes really sour and not good at all. It's a really big problem and they're trying all kinds of different ways of controlling it, but none of those ways really are organic. So there was a study done in Asia by taking guava trees and interplanting them with the citrus. And what they discovered was that psyllids were repelled from the citrus trees, providing some protection. I just pruned it about two weeks ago and it's just bursting out with a whole bunch of new growth and that means that you know we're gonna have a really good tree but it also means that the bugs are gonna start coming all right not just psyllids all kinds of bugs are gonna come to feed off of it so in order to help control this psyllid that spreads the Asian uh, greening disease what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can get any kind of additional protection by planting the guava tree right over there in that spot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plant it and I'm gonna have some rainwater handy in a, in a barrel that I'm saving some water so because I'm using rainwater I'm gonna use a little bit of the mycorrhizal which is for the roots and this is good stuff it helps to create a symbiotic relationship with soil fungi that actually will work with the roots of the plant and with the biology in the soil this is a, uh, a Ruby Supreme guava, and this is a great guava tree. I've already spread out the roots a little bit, and I've dug a hole only a few inches down because I'm gonna plant this tree elevated a little bit more than what I usually do because this area here uh, get, get pretty flooded sometimes. Even though it's very sandy, a lot of rain will actually flood this area. And uh, to my right, the citrus tree is also planted and it's elevated a couple of inches higher because citrus needs really well-drained soil. All right, so since we're not using the water hose, we're gonna have to use the rainwater that I have in this can right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start watering it in. Like I said, I already spread out the roots and I put the mycorrhizal in there. Now, for those of you that don't know what mycorrhizal is, basically it's a, a fungus that benefits the roots of the plant and the roots of the plant also help out the fungus so they have what's called a symbiotic relationship the mycorrhizal fungi creates that relationship with the roots where they get the sugars and the plant gets the nutrients because the fungi actually help to transport and move around the biology in the soil helping the roots to absorb the nutrition it also protects the plant from diseases let me finish watering this in and then what i'm going to do is I'm going to add some more topsoil here and I'm going to taper it off and then I'm going to mulch it in. Okay, so here's my guava tree and what I did is I elevated it. It's a good two or three inches higher than the surrounding grade. And I put the topsoil all around it and then I went around with my hands and I basically, I basically spread it out, tamped it in real good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some concrete border around it because I don't want this to wash away I want it to really get the roots to spread out and then in about a month or two I'll actually remove that border around it because I don't want the soil to wash away 
Now, when you are spreading the mulch, it's pretty, you don't want to pile it up like this, okay? You want to spread it out. It doesn't have to be six inches. It could be a couple of inches, as long as it's not touching and piled up on the trunk. So the benefit of the mulch is that it's going to help to maintain moisture. It's going to keep weeds under control for a certain, to a certain degree. And it looks nice. This particular mulch is cypress mulch. And it's really good, good, good stuff. Now, all right, so that just about wraps it up. We've got our guava tree in the ground and we have our citrus tree right over here. And they're about four feet away from each other. They're looking good. Our citrus is nice and healthy. And the idea is that our guava is gonna help repel psyllids. I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna find out and we're gonna let you know. The better looking this guy gets, the happier I'm gonna be. And I'm gonna say it was because this guy is the responsible party because he's keeping the psyllids away. I don't know, we'll find out. Catch you on the next episode of Peppy's Plants. Go ahead and subscribe if you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up, share it, all that good stuff. Peace and go out there and plant yourself some trees.